So you've spent the last few months, maybe even years, immersing yourself in the realm of web and mobile design. Your portfolio is so polished it might have Picasso pondering a career change. With visions of the inevitable six-figure salary dancing in your head, there's just one hurdle left, the interview. Sounds like a piece of cake, right? Well, not so fast. While your portfolio speaks volumes, the interview is where they tune in to hear your voice. They're going to probe, inquire, and dissect, wanting to know the hows and whys of your design journey. In this video, we're going to dive into the crucial questions they might throw your way, ensuring you're prepared and poised to impress. Ready to turn that interview into a victory lap? Let's get started. Let's start with question number one, and that is walk me through your design process. This age-old question helps interviewers peek into your design journey and how methodically you approach it. Your design process is your playbook. The golden ticket here is to showcase a robust, well-thought-out design flow that should include the five key steps. Those steps are user research, ideation, prototyping, testing, and iteration. Your answer should shine a spotlight on each one of those pivotal phases, beginning with how you gather those initial requirements, dive into user research, and craft wireframes and prototypes. The cherry on top? Emphasizing the repetitive nature of your process, showing that you're on a continuous quest to elevate your user experience. Because just like fine wines and classic sitcoms, good design only gets better with time. Now let me give you a good example of how you can answer this question. My design process usually starts with research to understand the problem and the user's needs. Then I create multiple design concepts and gather feedback before selecting the best one. Once the design is approved, I create prototypes, test them, and iterate until the product is ready to be launched. Moving on to question two, and that is how do you approach designing for different platforms and devices? Remember the good old days when we designed just for the trusty desktop? Well, times have changed. Today's digital landscape is a bustling metropolis of devices. From desktops and smartphones to smart TVs and tablets, and the list goes on and on. When tackling this question in an interview, emphasize your savvy for recognizing the subtle yet crucial differences and constraints of each gadget out there. Your designs aren't just aesthetic marvels, they're versatile chameleons, adapting to the environment they're showcased in. Here's a blueprint for a killer response. Number one, research is king. Before diving into design, immerse yourself in understanding the target platform or device. Familiarize yourself with its design norms, benchmarks, and user expectations. Number two, mapping the user's path. Pinpoint the user's behaviors unique to each device. For instance, how a user interacts on mobile could be starkly different from desktop. Number three, fit the mold. Adapt your designs to cater to varying screen dimensions, resolutions, and input styles. Number four, trial by fire. Put your designs through rigorous testing across devices, ensuring they both look and function seamlessly. Number five, evolve. Act on your feedback and analytics to keep refining the design. Number six, teamwork makes the dream work. Collaborate with developers to confirm the design's cross-platform viability. But remember, while it's essential to know best practices, don't regurgitate them word for word. Let your experience take the wheel. Let your unique voice shine through. Highlight what's important and infuse real-life examples. After all, the best answers are the ones that feel lived in, not rehearsed. Next up, question number three, and that is how do you stay up to date with emerging design trends and technologies? Diving into the heart of web design is about more than just crafting beautiful designs. It's about staying nimble and updated in a whirlwind of change. And guess what? Interviewers aren't just keen on your design skills, they're eager to gauge your zest for learning. Why is this a deal breaker? Because the web design arena is like shifting sands, constantly reshaping itself. The last thing anyone wants is a designer anchored in the past. So let this be your stage to spotlight your underlying commitment to staying on top of trends and technologies. Whether it's skimming through top-notch design blogs, making your presence felt at industry conferences, or immersing yourself in vibrant online communities, now's the time to share it all. Here's an example of what a good response may look like. I always stay up to date with emerging design trends and technologies by attending conferences and workshops, reading design blogs and publications, and collaborating with other designers. I also like to experiment with new tools and technologies to stay ahead of the curve and make sure my design process is always improving. But a word of caution, always keep it real. Interviewers have a keen nose for stories that don't smell quite right, and they will normally follow up your responses with more questions, which means lying will only get you so far. On to question number four, and that is how do you handle feedback from stakeholders and team members? 
Fielding feedback is undeniably a cornerstone of the design journey. It's essential to embrace even when it stings a little. Because let's face it, even if you crafted a design DaVinci would envy, if users won't interact with it, it's a lost cause. There are times when least aesthetic designs yield the best results. Remember, the ultimate aim isn't just to create a visual treat. It's about forwarding a business agenda, like amplifying conversions and boosting revenue. But how do we do that exactly? Well, here are some tips you can follow when receiving that dreaded feedback. Number one, listen. Invest in truly understanding the feedback, capturing nuances, engaging the underlying concerns. Number two, clarify. If something sounds vague, don't hesitate to ask. Dive deeper and understand better. Number three, communicate. Elaborate on your design choices and how they sync with the broader project ambitions. It'll give everyone a glimpse into your thought process. Number four, collaborate. Work side by side with stakeholders and your team. Brainstorming, design workshops, and other collaborative efforts might be the key. Number five, iterate. Adjust your design based on the insights shared, ensuring it meets collective expectations and is primed for success. Number six, document. Keep track of your design choices and the feedback you get. This helps keep everyone aligned throughout the process. At its core, web design is just like a dance. It's all about adapting and moving with the rhythm of the user's needs and stakeholder feedback. It's less doing the robot and more the fluid waltz. Always collaborating, always refining. Last but not least, question number five, and that is what's your experience with user research and how do you use it in your design process? User research isn't just a box to tick, it's the foundation of impactful design. When getting asked this question, the interviewer is looking for two things. Number one, your hands-on experience of user research methodologies. And number two, how you employ research findings to shape effective designs. Simply put, knowing how to research is half the battle. The real game is using that knowledge to elevate your design. Here are a few best practices to help answer this question. Number one, share experiences of your research ventures be it through surveys, interviews, or even usability tests. Number two, discuss your approach for analyzing and interpreting user research data to inform the design process. Number three, explain how research steers your design, from drafting requirements to finalizing user interfaces. Number four, emphasize teamwork, illustrating how you align with stakeholders and developers to fulfill user needs and project objectives. Number five, conclude by shedding light on how you gauge design success, whether through user satisfaction metrics or conversion rates. Remember, it's not about reciting a rehearsed script, but narrating your authentic journey and merging research with design. And there you have it. With these insights, you're one step closer to acing that design interview. If this video gave you some clarity, show a little love by tapping that like button. Got any insights or opinions about the questions discussed? Drop a comment below. Oh, and this video was inspired by a blog post that ZTM instructor and product designer Dan Scafano wrote. So if you want to read the full breakdown with two more important interview questions, make sure to check that out, linked in the top right hand corner. Until our next chat folks, and always remember, in an interview and in life, just be yourself.